There are so many amazing games coming to 2024. It is so hard to pick. I think these are my favourite ones that I'm looking forward to. Hello, hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. I hope you had a lovely New Year's. But these are the games that I'm going to pick that are my favourite ones that I'm going to look forward to 2024. It's really hard to pick. There are so, so many that I'm looking forward to. But these are my top ones, I think. So grab a warm drink, get comfy, get cozy, and let's get through to the first game. And the first game is called Duck Detective The Secret Salami. This is a cozy mystery game about a down on his luck duck searching for answers in a sinister sausage based conspiracy. You join the duck detective on his latest greatest case inspecting and interviewing the specs to learn their hidden secrets and using the information you've gathered to locate the suspects and bust the case wide open. You judge everyone on their first impressions just by looking at them really, really hard and get them to admit things by staring. This game looks like it's kind of inspired by the Paper Mario type gameplay. I really love the style of this game. I'm so, so excited for a duck detective. I cannot wait for this game. This game is coming out on Steam sometime in 2024. The next game we have is called On Your Tail. Embark on an intriguing getaway you'll never forget in On Your Tail, a sleuthy, story-driven life sim of relaxation investigation and knowing how to play your cards right. It's set in a charming seaside village of Borgo Marina. It follows the adventures of intrepid Diana in her pursuit of the perfect summer vacation. She is a curious spirit so she explores her surroundings and winds it with some of the area's iconic recreational activities and gets to the bottom of some of the most puzzling local mysteries. This is a leisurely sandbox game and how you spend your summer is completely up to you. The graphics in this game look absolutely stunning. The characters look amazing. And again, I've chosen another detective puzzle game. So I think I know where my 2024 games are going towards. This game is going to be released on Steam sometime in 2024. Next up we have a game called Trash Goblin. This is a wholesome and cosy shopkeeping game where you uncover and clean trinkets for sale. Customise them by upcycling and more to meet the eclectic requests of your endless colourful customers. Spend your savings to upgrade your shop, buy new and better tools and even expand your business to exciting new districts across town. You find peculiar trinkets by chipping away at the dirt and scrub them up nice and clean with your sponge to get them ready for sale. You can combine the trinkets together, upcycling them into strange and wonderful items. Sell them to customers and invest your savings by upgrading your existing tools or even buy new ones that unlock more ways to work on the trinkets. There is a demo out right now if you want to go check it out, but this game will be available on Steam sometime in 2024. Next up, we have Baladin. These legendary heroes wander from town to town to fulfill their sacred quest, entertaining the masses. It's a difficult task, but one the Baladins take in stride. From helping those in need to throwing parties, they bring surprise with them wherever their travels take them. All that matters to them is bringing joy to the people who inhabit the bright and lively world of gathering. Inspired by tabletop role-playing campaigns, it is a choose-your-own-story game for players of all ages and experience levels. Roll the dice to see where your adventure takes you and your decisions are not inherently good or bad, just creative approaches that can lead to interesting outcomes. You can play with one to four players with one of the four unique classes and play at your own pace. I spoke about this game a while ago. I think it was in my last wholesome 
direct video i can't really remember but this game has been on my radar for a while and i'm so excited for this to come out this game is going to be available on steam in 2024 next up we have tiny glade tiny glade is a relaxing freeform building game about doodling castles tap into the joy of making something pretty with no management, no combat or wrong answers. Just kick back, doodle some castles and turn forgotten meadows into lovable dioramas. Explore gridless building chemistry and watch the game carefully assemble every brick, pebble and plank. If you want to draw a path through a wall, an arch pops up. If you want to widen an arch, pillars line up. Lower the wall, arches turn into fences and gates. There is no wrong answer or failure status. You can change your mind at any time ever you make will look cozy right out of the box. I saw this game back in August 2022 on TikTok and I started following from there. Honestly, cannot wait for this game. I am obsessed with this game. It looks visually stunning. I cannot wait to create castles. <laughs> this game will be available on Steam in 2024. Next up, we have a game called Summer House. This is a small scale building game and a love letter to the feeling of long lost summer afternoons. Craft a neighbourhood of tiny, beautiful, lived-in homes in a variety of settings. The sea, the city, or the mountains. While there are some secrets to uncover, there are absolutely no rules. You can't win or lose. You just chill out, build to your heart's content, and soak up that atmosphere. If relaxation and creation are your thing, this game is for you. The artist and game designer on games like Superflight, Islanders and Pizza Possum, they are making this game. This is their own game that they are making. Beautiful, I love the art style of this game and the way you can make little cute neighbourhoods. You can tell where my games are going in 2024 from this list and it's all detective and building games. This has a demo out right now if you want to go check it out but this will be available on Steam in 2024. The next game is called Pine Hearts. Welcome to Pine Hearts Caravan Park. As tight, hop into your hiking boots and explore the paths and rivers of this cozy little world. Rummage around the park and find handy tools that will help you on your journey as you fill out your trusty hill walking journal. Rediscover memories of Tyke's time in the park many summers ago and unearth the heartfelt story of his childhood. Every inch of the park has a little surprise waiting for you to discover. This is a warm, thoughtful game about love, life, memories and family. It tells a story of the loss of a family member with tenderness and care, but please be aware of this subject matter before playing the game. So just to warn you. So Pine Hearts takes the item-based progression of Zelda and combines it with the Souls-like level design and warps it all up in a wholesome aesthetic with a focus on puzzles, not combat. As they are building this game as well, they say that accessibility is one of the key features that they are including in this game and i love that i wish more games took accessibility as the key feature and then worked around that so i'm excited to see how many accessibility functions are going to be in this game again there is a demo for you to be able to try right now if you want to but this game is going to be available on steam in 2024. next up we have a game called Vandal Tale, A League of Legends Story. Jump into this delightful crafting RPG set in the magical world of Vandal City, home of the furry and fun-loving Yordles. It is a cosy but isolated island obsessed with all things knitting. But when a 101-year-old apprenticeship ends, 
You want nothing more than to see what lies beyond the portal that connects the rest of Vandal City. When a party you attend goes horribly wrong, the portal collapses and everything is thrown into chaos. With your unique knitting magic and unflappable spirit, enlist the help of new friends, restore the portal and reunite Vandal City once more. This is another League of Legends cozy game. So after Song of Nunu that came out in November, they are doing another cozy game and I am so so excited because Song of Nunu was so so much fun did that so beautifully well so I'm so excited for this one and I really enjoyed the story behind Song of Nunu so if they do that well I'm sure they're gonna do this one well and creatures who knit oh my god this one is coming out in 2024 on Nintendo Switch on Steam on GOG.com and on Epic Games and the last one I want to give is a little mention because we don't know much about the game yet and we only got a teaser trailer of it but I'm so excited for this I want to give it a mention. The game is called Tales of the Shire. Tales of the Shire is a cozy hobbit life heartwarming game from Lord of the Rings. It is due to come out sometime in 2024 and it will be available on console and PC. As I said, we don't know much about this game yet, but I imagine you're going to be some sort of hobbit living in a hobbit house with cooking and planting and doing all these cozy hobbit Lord of the Rings vibes. Lord of the Rings is one of my favourite films of all time along with the hobbit series i cannot wait for this game i am so excited and that is it those are all of the games that i am looking forward to in 2024 in the comments down below what games are you looking forward to there are so many more but i can't include them all in this list so let me know in the comments down below Thank you so so much for watching please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below for more cute and cozy games thank you so so much to my channel members thank you for supporting me and all that i do if you would like to become one you can do so down below as well for exclusive videos i hope you have an amazing rest of the day wherever you are and i will see you all in the next one bye